Good morning folks, Jason Chrisman, Grazing Acres Farm. This morning I wanted to share something that I thought was really, really interesting. I'm pretty impressed with this new Job Topaz valve, and I want to show you why. This morning we're sitting at 11 degrees now that the sun's up. Um, this morning, before the sun come up, we were at 9. And uh, just checking on the cows here this morning, just gave them a couple bales of hay. And I always come down to check the water before I leave, just because you never know. Do they have a leak? Is the water froze? Um, if you leave it in a situation like that, then it can become much worse by the time you come back by the end of the day and the cows are pushing everything around because they can't get any water. But anyway, I uh, stopped down here to check the water and uh, if you look, the topaz valve still got running water and as far as the ice, very, very, in. So, yeah, we got a little bit of ice here on the valve even. But the water's still running and uh, we still got water. Kind of solid here in the center, I guess. But if we push this lever down, still got plenty of water and my overflow is running right back and out on the ground now. Um, there at the beginning when I introduced this in a video there a couple weeks ago um, I had this hose here going around to this tank but I had to move the herd and it got kind of cumbersome to move the two tanks hooked together and I haven't hooked them back together yet but if we go over here you can see there is some water trickling out over there so even this didn't freeze because it's fairly warm water because it's fresh, it's coming out of the spigot, and uh, it's working great. Normally, at this time of the year, I will have done and manually watered for a good month and a half, and I haven't had to do that this year. Very, very glad of that, uh, but at the same time, it does cut back on my uh, hours, but it is what it is. I've got better things to do than to fill stock tanks all day. So, just wanted to share, uh, if you're having problems with freezing water, you may want to check into this Job Topaz valve with the Frost Pro um, adapter, which is that piece there on top that's keeping the water circulating. This is the Frost Pro, just this tube and this plastic cap. And I believe just the Frost Pro is about 20 bucks. Um, the valve, I think it had 65, maybe 80 in it, somewhere in there. Close to 100 bucks anyway with the total purchase there. Working very well though, so if you're out there every day busting ice and filling manually, suggest you check into these valves. Now in my last video where I mentioned I had this valve, um, a follower named Russ mentioned that he's used these valves for a few years. He's observed that the valve actually does a better job under the water. I've yet to change it, but right now, nine degrees overnight 11 right now water's still running uh i don't really see any reason to take the time to change it so at this present time i'm going to leave it as it is now at the same time let me back up here a little bit so you can see my tank looks kind of horrible i've had several people say did you catch that on fire or something no what that is is about eight or nine cans of great stuff insulating foam um, the stuff you buy in a can so I took about eight or nine cans like I said I made me a little nozzle to go on the end of the straw that comes with the can and the little nozzle made it a wide uh, application of foam instead of a round bead and you can see where I just went up and down up and down up and down even covered the bottom so that could play a tool and why my valve is working so well above the water. That I do not know. But uh, well worth the cost. Um, I got about $60, $70 $70 in foam. Unless you can catch it on sale. So I don't know. Something to look at. Something to think about. Now I would like to get maybe a piece of rubber. Go around over top of this. Because what happens is the cows like to rub on the stock tank. And little pieces of styrofoam fall off. I'm not real big on that, but it is what it is. 
So anyway, folks, just wanted to share, you're having troubles with water. Check into this valve. Get your life back. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a big thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other grazers to find. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. Grazy Nakers Farm. Mm -hmm.